been able to figure out the exact meaning, that's because meanings aren't given to most of us. Every living being defines life differently, and each set of eyes sees the world from a different point of view. Therefore, each individual individual's definition of life is biased to their own experiences of living. In this way, life becomes a personal term immune to strictly single-sided definitions. Human life can be viewed from four broad perspectives, including natural sciences, humanities, social sciences, and arts. But social scientists look not at the meaning of life, but the meaning in life, and how human behavior dictates perception. Today, I will be focusing on the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The hierarchy is a psychological theory that suggests that a five-tier model of human needs, the tier ranges from human's most basic needs as a foundation to self-fulfillment at the peak. The first four levels are referred to as the deficiency needs, and the top level is known as the growth or the being needs. The goal of Maslow's hierarchy is to explain how humans are motivated by their instincts and conscience thoughts. Abraham Maslow was a psychologist in the 20th century whose focus was to discover humans' motivation to live to their full potential. In Maslow's paper, A Theory of Humans' Motivation, he stated that he believes that humans we, humans, we start our lives at the bottom of the pyramid and work our way up. The basic needs of the first tier are necessary for survival and must be fulfilled to reach the higher tiers. Once, it is, once one is complete, man's goal is to reach providing the motivation to keep climbing the pyramid. The foundation of the Maslow's hierarchy of needs corresponds to the human's most basic needs in life. So the first two tiers are physiological and safety needs. Physiological needs are vital for human survival, for instance, breathing, sleeping, water, and food, while safety needs are necessary to feel protected and in control of one's life, for instance, home, medical, a job, and to be financially stable. These basic needs must be met before any human can move up to the next tier of hierarchy. The fourth tier of Maslow's hierarchy of need is Self-esteem. Self-esteem is the feeling. According to Maslow, the third tier incorporates the need for friendship, intimacy, and trust and acceptance, as well as receiving and giving affection and love. Humans need to feel they belong with a group, whether that be with coworkers or family members, and they desire to be loved by others. Esteemed relationships include family, friends, children, community members, these are the sources that people turn to in a time of need. The fourth tier of Maslow's hierarchy of need is self-esteem. Self-esteem is the feeling of hu a human possesses that is a reflection of how he or she feels about oneself. Esteem can be received in two ways, internally and externally. Internally, humans judge themselves externally by mostly seeking approval and esteem from other people. A human's perception of his or herself is mostly dependent upon how they think others perceive them. In Maslow's hierarchy, esteem is one of the basic needs before you can move up to the next tier. The fifth and final tier is self-actualization. According to Maslow, a self-actualized person has reached their full potential. However, Self-actualization is not a state of being, but a continued process for personal growth. In discovery, it can be achieved by participating in creative and activity and abstract thought. There is no strict set guidelines to determine if any individual has met this goal, but it is possible there is no way to officially achieve this. Although it is not possible for everyone to meet every need in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, if one can still meet his or her full potential, life can be defined in an infinite amount of ways from many different perspectives. From natural sciences defining life from a biological, perspect biological perspective to the arts defining life by the emotional expression that accompanies the experience, we are steps closer to a true definition of human life. When focusing on human life, specifically Maslow hierarchy needs theory, it is an excellent compass to explain and direct us through this complex topic.